Hello, I'm Patrick Stewart, and I'm delighted to say that I recently became a member of the Disney pantheon of voice talent by portraying Bambi's father, the great prince of the forest, in the studio's upcoming release of Bambi 2. Over 60 years has passed since Bambi first charmed the world, and it continues to do so to this day. It's a timeless classic, but unfortunately time has taken its toll on the original film elements. Thanks to the Walt Disney Company's commitment to preserving its timeless treasures for future generations, I'm happy to tell you about the remarkable, groundbreaking restoration that has taken place on Walt's masterpiece, specifically for this platinum DVD release. Working from the original monaural music tracks, Bambi has been brought into this millennium with a newly created 5.1 Disney-enhanced home theater mix. It gives a vividness and scope to this magnificent score that is unlike anything you've heard before. The end product is the most spectacular looking and sounding presentation of Bambi ever. Bambi and some of our other classic films, the actual original nitrate negatives are being stored at the Library of Congress film vaults. Back in the late 50s, early 60s, the library decided to get into film preservation because a lot of the older films were just being abandoned. The film itself has basically the same chemical composition as gunpowder. Once it starts to break down, work has to be done quickly because one day it's fine, six months it's a can of powder. After many years of rest in the Library of Congress, the original negative for Bambi was pulled from the vaults and brought home to Los Angeles to undergo a restoration using today's cutting edge digital technology. All film stock of this era decays and becomes unstable and not to be too dramatic about it, but it quite literally will die. Now, both the digital and film backups that we're going to do on this restoration will ensure its life for many, many, many generations. But this is really now the time to do it while the negative is still in very good shape. When we start a movie like this, the first thing we do is we inspect the film very, very thoroughly, frame by frame, check the whole thing to make sure there's no uh, torn sprocket holes or rips in the film or bad splices. We use a clean room primarily to make sure there is no dust in the environment, no dirt. The film is scanned frame by frame at a very high resolution. Those films were shot on successive exposure film, and so there's three color records for every frame. So each one of those color records is scanned. These digital scans are then put through an automated cleaning process using software to remove dirt and other imperfections. Well, <laughs> this is quite an occasion. Finally, the film is scrutinized frame by frame by an operator who removes any final imperfections that may still exist on the image. So we're able to go in there and clean up this movie so it's absolutely pristine and still retain the artistic integrity of the movie. Party. Once the film is completely cleaned, technicians begin an extensive color correction process. Their goal is to restore the outstanding artwork to its intended splendor and vibrancy. My responsibility is to maintain the look that the artists who originally made the film intended. The backgrounds in Bambi are, each one of them, a piece of fine art on their own merits. Referencing the original artwork for the film stored at the Animation Research Library, they painstakingly execute subtle adjustments to the hues, always conscious not to exaggerate the color tones or compromise the integrity of the original film. The quality of, of the artwork that was produced for Bambi was pretty phenomenal. So as part of our research when we're restoring Bambi, we look at the artwork very closely and understand the textures and the color so that when we're doing our restoration, we can try to make sure we stay as true to that as possible. The result is an image free from dust, dirt, 
and scratches with brilliant colors and pristine visual quality. So stunning, even Walt himself would be amazed. These films are treasures. They represent different periods in our history. Through his endearing films and rich imagination, Walt Disney was able to provide warmth, humor, and entertainment to audiences past and present. Now, thanks to today's remarkable technology, we are not only able to preserve this precious classic for future generations, we have been able to enhance its sound and picture to new heights beyond the expectations of the original filmmakers. I think Walt would approve.